previously on the Sun City. Our plan has failed again. Why? I thought you said you planted in Kalisa Jun when you're cleaning it this morning. Yes, I did. But she'll be leaving her room to Fiona's house this evening. She's with me because I'm the guy she can shout at. And I can't shout back at her. She uses me to exercise her control issues. Would you believe that we only have sex when Fiona wants to have sex? It's just a text one to know if the camera works the way the guy said it does. Yes, it should. We don't cheat there when he tested it in front of us. Yeah, but that was in his house for a few hours. I eventually downloaded that recording. Hey, if you see action. What action? Chris and Kalista, we have them on camera doing it. Sun City, you're welcome. Come with me and I will take you away. What do you mean Kalista moved out of your house? After we had a minor disagreement over the issue of capital for her business, she left and I didn't meet her at home after I closed from work yesterday. Her bags to be gone. Did you call her? Nope. Why not? Because I thought she moved back here. I was even expecting to see her this morning, but I was told she didn't come back after she left. Why wouldn't she just give her the money she asked for for her business? Because I don't trust Kalista with such amounts of money. You said you liked the business idea. But that doesn't mean Kalista has become prudent over the night to handle such cash. Anyway, she's a big girl. I'm sure she can take care of herself wherever she is. Yeah, maybe she has gone back to Abuja. That's a problem. I'm mobbing the lobby like you asked. Why is the paper littered over stairways? Maybe it's a guest that chopped it while they passed. JT, this is not allowed. Pick them up and dispose of them properly. But make sure I don't get any complaints against you anytime soon. Else, I'll fire you. Ah, <gasps> You heard me. <gasps> Tell me you made up with your sister. Well, is she with you? Is who with me? Kalista. How can she be with me? What have you done, Fiona? I didn't do anything, Mom. She moved out of my house before I got back home yesterday. You mean you don't know where your sister is since yesterday? I assumed she was back to the hotel and I got here this morning and I found out she didn't so I thought she's back in Abuja. No she's not. Now that you have ruined the peace process and you both are back to being estranged, are you happy now? Are you blaming me? It's your fault. If you keep disobeying my instructions concerning your sister, I might be forced to Tell you what you should know. What shouldn't I know? Find your sister, make peace with her, and give her the money she needs.
Is it not that your Randy manager threatening to fire me? What did you do? What is what did I do? He's just been unreasonable. Well, just waiting for him to fire me first. Well, you better be careful what you wish for. Let him try it now. See if I don't expose his escapade with Kalista to Madame Fiona. Titi, is something wrong with you? Oh, 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 oh. You think you will fire me and I will not send Fiona the sex tip? Ah, you are dreaming, no? Joshua Thompson, that was an expensive joke, you know. You've never called me by my full names before. But well, that's because you've never said something so stupid before. Listen, you need to delete that video of Chris and Kalista in your possession before it gets out. Never! JT, our plan is we can use that video to blackmail Chris to keep your job. Once that video gets out, all our plans will be ruined. See, I'm not saying I'm going to put out the video. All I'm saying is that let the devil not go and enter Mr. Chris to fire me. Huh. Because then, I don't know what I will do. Anything can happen. JT, wait! Where could she be? Who? Kalisto. My mom was threatening to cut my head off if I don't look for her. And she's not taking my calls. Why didn't you send her a text? And say what? Whatever it is you're calling her for. I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> How about... Hi sis. I'm so sorry for everything. You can come and collect the money you need for your business. No way, I'm not going to give her that money. There has to be another way to resolve things. Damn, you're so stubborn and so troublesome. Strong-willed and principled, there's a difference. My mom was threatening to come to Lagos and I'm not sure how I want her to. Why? <laughs> you think I'm stubborn and troublesome? Wait till you meet my mother. Well, I think I'm just gonna take your advice and send Kalisa a text. Glad you taking my advice. Don't be glad just yet. Come with me and I will take you away. JT, you're beginning to make me regret bringing you in on this mission. What's that supposed to mean? How could you even think of like meeting Chris with recording just to keep your job? I was only joking. Can't you take a joke again? Then you have to delete that video. It's the only way you won't get tempted to do something stupid. Okay, I'll delete it. Why do I think you're lying? Because you're a smart girl. And there's no way I'll delete that video. Maybe I should let you watch it so that you know how valuable it is to us. Uh, so, when do I get to see the video? Um, I'll bring my laptop to work tomorrow. Then we can watch it together. No, I would like to watch it alone. Why? You think something might happen between both of us if we watch it together? In your dreams. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Got more worried. 
Good to know it's mom that was worried and not you. Callisto, I need you to understand that the only reason I agreed to be in charge of your capital for your business is because I know you need my skill and experience to ensure a successful business. Fiona, please let's just skip the chit chat. I'm going straight to why you brought me down here. That's what I'm doing. No. Because I expected once I walk in here, you give me the check of five million that I asked for. I mean, that was what your text said. That you're ready to settle me and I should come down. No, 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 no. My text said that I would like us to settle things. Listen, Kalista. I already arranged for a meeting with the guys I told you about and I would like you and I to go for the meeting together. Meeting? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Okay, Fiona. Let me make this very clear to you. I want to handle this on my own, successfully, like totally without your help. Why would you want to take that risk? Because I want to. I mean, it's demeaning of you to think that I can't handle things successfully on my own without you supervising everything. I would advise you, if you don't want us to go back to being enemies, Pull out that check and write me the check of five million naira. Is it just me or that sounded like blackmail? Are you giving me the money or not? Like I said, I would like to be in charge of the fund. And that's the only way you can get the money. Thank you, Martin. How you go? Okay, I'm at the VIP section. Right. So tell me, how was it? Hey. Did you win? You won't believe the reason she asked me to come was to convince me to allow her be in charge of the capital that I asked for. Imagine. Please. I thought she was going to give the money this time around. Search me. You see, I'm tired of this back and forth movement. I'm just going back to Abuja tomorrow. Come on, babe. You know how I feel about you leaving. Hmm? See, it's bad enough that I actually moved into your place and spent the night there, so... I'm not complaining, am I? Have you stopped to ask yourself what Fiona is going to do when she comes to your place and finds me there? Fiona never comes over to my place. How is that possible? She's your girlfriend. <sighs> yes, she is. But well, she doesn't like my neighborhood. She says it's far and undeveloped. She's only been to my place once, and that was just when we started dating. So you mean <laughs> it's just you that's always going over to her place? Yep. Wow. She, she sure is a control freak. Yeah. But still, I can't stay at your place anymore. It's not right. Why is it not right? Wow. Kalista sure knows how to put it on a man. What? Why are you looking at me like that? It would not be firewood. This video that we are watching us puts me in the mood. I know you are in the mood too. What mood? Come on now. Uh, let's make do of this well lit bed and conducive atmosphere. You know. Are you back to your senses now? Or do you want me to slap the other side of your cheek?
She had some outfits. If you are feeling what I was feeling. <sighs> no, JT. You tried to kiss me. And if I had not slapped you to snap you out of it, you would possibly be ripping off my clothes by now. You will not find a husband if you keep slapping a man. Okay. I'm sorry I slapped you. Mm. But you were really annoying. Hey, what did you just do? I just deleted the video. Why would you do that? Because it could get us into trouble and spoil the big picture. And there's no way I'm going to let that happen. JT, now that the video is out of the way, we can go back to our original plan. See you around. Is that a lie or sarcasm? Why would you think I'm lying? Oh, so it's sarcasm then? No, it's not. Look, Fiona, I think it's high time you got off your high horse and do as I say. Okay, what is this about? Police then her outrageous money request? Outrageous or not, I instructed you to pay her. And if you were wise, you would have done just that, instead of making me come all the way from Abuja. Mom, you think it's easy to make money, right? No, honey, I don't think so. But I think it's easy to obey your parents, especially your mother. I still know more than you do. Kalista is the one you shouldn't be talking to, not me. What happens when I give Kalista the money and she squanders it like she always does? She presented you with a business plan and you agreed that it was a fantastic idea. Yes. It looks fantastic on paper. Mom, over the years, I've come to realize that new businesses fail even before they can find your footing. And that's what I'm preventing from happening. When are you going to stop preventing and start obeying? I'm not a robot, Mom. Mom, you didn't send me to school to start obeying any and every order, even when I feel uncomfortable. I won't. So, I take it you won't be giving Callista the money? No, I won't. Five million is too much to gamble with. If she allows me money to her business, fine, I can minimize costs and maximize profits in the long run. Okay, let's forget about your sister's need for money. I am your mother, and I need five million naira before I leave today. Well, 
I am happy to announce to you that the video is still in my possession. <laughs> Chris and Kalista's video. Mm -hmm. The latest Jackie Chan video. <laughs> How can you still have the video when I've deleted already on your laptop? Well, apparently, you do not know what is called the recycle bin. You can restore deleted items. So far, they are still in the recycle bin. <laughs> JT, yeah. you need to delete that video fast. I have a bad feeling it will drain things. Whatever. <laughs> Next, Anderson City. Mom, look, you have to convince me that I'm not about to throw away money before I can release such amount. Business has been slow these days. You know what? Fine. You leave me no choice but to smack you with some bitter truth. The mother is here. Whose mother? Fiona and Kalista's. I just checked her into a room. Huh. I hope that one will not start doing Chris as well. My point is, you shouldn't make your mother hate you. But she has her own money. My dad willed so much asset to her in properties. Why can't she give Kalista the money? That's because she's not asking your mother for it. She's asking you. If it weren't for you and your extravagant track record, I wouldn't be here right now trying to convince your sister to give you the money you need for your new business. Just because I make some few mistakes in my past doesn't mean I should be condemned to internal condemnation by Fiona. The kind of things that lodgers leave behind when they check out there can be so annoying. You found another juju again. Worse. Dirty, stinking female panties. <laughs> 